Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Papa Varian and this is Crusader Kings 2 and today we're going to get the achievement Not So Great which only 1.1% of all players have. It is one of the rarest achievements and it needs you to play in a shattered world and defeat a Great Conqueror. You want to start in 1337 because the later you start the weaker the Great Conquerors are relatively speaking. You will see why in a second. Uh, select that only one ruler per duchy exists then definitely enable consolidation CBs and the maximum amount of Great Conquerors as well as of course you know any succession type. I went with Primogenitor, it really doesn't matter. If you die in this achievement run then you did something wrong. Make sure the age span makes it so that there are no children so that you can pick any duchy without running the risk of running into any children. Very very important is go full random on religion. You can also go full random on culture. I did it but religion is the important part. Then you want to generate the world and when you generate the world what is important is look out for wherever Germanic is. Germanic is the dream of this run. It is what makes everything possible, what breaks the game essentially. As you can see I have a lot of Germanic here and I now am looking for the strongest coastal duchy so that I have a lot of Levy and M Coastal with a, a lot of boats. In this case, it's Flanders. Flanders in this region, very, very strong. In other regions, if Germanic is anywhere else, you know, you can go with something like Sicily, Sardinia. Uh, in India, there, there are a lot of very strong duchies. All that matters is take the strongest duchy you can for the biggest levy boost possible. So, as you can see right here, none of the other rules really matter. Uh, diplomatic range, don't restrict it, just make it on. Uh, off would disable achievements, but on is pretty fair game. And as you can see here, I have 16,000 troops. That is the blessing of a start date this late. Now this makes it so that Great Conquerors are trivialized because they get spawned in troops, but I think it's only like 4.5k. It is nothing in comparison to what we have. And what you do now, you go into the ledger and you look for bloodlines because every Great Conqueror has a bloodline and you want to fight the one that is the closest to you so that you can get out of this cursed world as soon as possible. Now in this case, it is Emir Saad, the wolf of the Sardid Emirate in Swithyot. Um, I cannot reach him yet. Now here's the thing. If I had luck here, if he were of a different religion than our religion, he's also Germanic, I could simply do a coastal conquest CB. Now in this case I can't do it because he is Germanic, meaning that I have to work my way over to him. And we can do this by declaring a coastal conquest war against somebody in his vicinity, in this case Kozema, that is not of the Germanic religion. I think they're like Romuva or something. All you need to do if you do coastal wars, uh, just wait in your capital. Because the enemy AI will always come to your capital. You can trash their armies and only then should you sail over. Otherwise you risk, you know, getting imprisoned or getting a family imprisoned, that sort of stuff. You saw there, I trashed the army and then I went over to where they live. And now all of a sudden I am very close to the Great Conqueror. Um, I think at this point I could have already declared an established tributary war against him. I decided against that. First of all, I wanted to uh, raid a bit just so that I don't run out of money. Raiding a single province here brings you like 400 bucks. It is very huge, obviously, because this is simply, you know, a world where everything is worth so much. And then I decided to go for a consolidation CB for Gotland. Uh, consolidation CBs, if you can't use, just like myself here, the Coastal Conquest CB, because the Great Conqueror is of your religion, Coast, uh, consolidation CBs are valid for one sea zone. So if we take Gotland, I can then go and do a coastal, uh, can do a consolidation CB against the Great Conqueror because Gotland borders you know, Swithyard. So that is exactly what we're doing here. Again, I defeated their troops in my territory, then went over to Gotland and ended the entire thing. Actually, I'm not sure. I, th I don't think they actually ever came to me because they were already in a war, meaning I just ignored them. And then all of it is over. Gotland is ours. And now the only decision that we have to make is are we ready to attack? He was preparing an invasion here, but honestly, none of it really mattered. Um, Great Conquerors may start strong. They have fairly good traits, but if they come over with the boats into your territory, they are toast. They they absolutely are classic AI. They don't know how to handle it. The you, humans can always beat up the AI. That is always the case, of course, in Paradox games. And in this case, we are incredibly strong because we have an insanely strong duchy. And you can see it right here. We are going to trash the Swithyard armies. And once that is done, I think I'm trashing them like four or five times in our territory. Once that is done, we sail over to Swithyard and beat them up. And there you go. This is what happens if you land a bigger army, but with only half morale. You got utterly crushed, and there they come again. Ah, isn't it beautiful to watch? So this is definitely the fastest way to get this done, simply because the late start date completely dare, uh, dunks on anything that the Great Conquerors spawn with. You can you can see it. I'm just absolutely trashing them. There, there's no competition. Technically, you could also just raid a bit, get some mercenary money, and then attack them. But as you can see, it is strictly not necessary. If you are struggling with it, then I would definitely advise raiding, because raiding makes it so that you get a practically infinite amount of money. Uh, seeing as every province is worth about 500 bucks. And then you can hire some mercenaries, beat up the AI, and you will be good to go. You can see here we're going for Swithyard. Uh, the war goal, I think I declared for Arland. Uh, there are the, the last troops, but they are march marching south. I'm just ignoring them. And after assaulting all of these holdings, we will finally be in a position where we can say, Great Conqueror, I demand your surrender. 
And indeed, the Red Conqueror will, of course, accept this um, quite soon, I think. I didn't even assault this because it's just so easy. It, this is the easiest way by far to do this. And as you can see, this is the end of that war. And the Cursed World that we have created can be left by us yet again because the achievement not so great just unlocked only 1.1% of players have it so definitely get that as soon as you can and I want to thank the members of the channel that are making videos like this one possible namely the Barons Aaron Stefan the Riches T Snywolf Emma Marmello Thomas and Lachlan then of course the Counts Kermelik 2 Shifty Ixum the Naughty and Wombat and last but not least the beautiful Duke Suspicious Duck Benedict Nathan Knight of Squires Kenneth Lexo Roboman my dad left me at Arby's and the Absolute Legends Eric and Aiden Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you have any other achievements that you want to see, then let me know in the comments about it. Cheers. Later. Alligator.